Right, that's enough of that in case I'm slapped with a YouTube copyright notice. <sighs> now that was a little clip, hopefully that'll get past the censors. That was a little clip of a song called Ariane by Tasmin Archer. I believe she was from Sheffield in Yorkshire. Because um, she sang a song about a steel town which was Sheffield. Now, so this is part of my um, haul series, my... Uh, palette series. Now, I've no idea which Ariane this is. Um, I haven't really looked at the model number. Let's have a look, shall we? What model number? I think it says on here it's been written T2425, perhaps? I'm not sure. Now, it says Range 4 on it, which is graded. Now, I've got a friend who has a Hoover washing machine with Range 4 on it. And I believe they were sort of like seconds, something slightly wrong with them, fully operational. Um, so this is what this one is, so we'll have to see what it's like. Still can't find my little uh, knife. It'll be somewhere. My house is upside down in turmoil with <laughs> all these vacuums. I've wanted to get an Ariane again for ages. I've had them in the past, or so I've had at least one. I've had at least one red Ariane. Ah, oh. I think this is a disappointment because I've got loads and loads in my, um, that came on the palette, loads of um, lifetime Ariannes, which is what this is. And those other ones actually have lifetime written on the box. So what I think possibly I've got I won't know until I've opened every one of them, but what I think I've possibly got are about five or six, I'm not sure how many in total, lifetime Ariannes. It's a nice colour. This one is quite scuffed up. So we'll have a look at it anyway. Hopefully there will be one in better condition. Yeah, this is, this is probably out of the ones I've unboxed so far. Oh, yeah, this is definitely the worst. It's missing. Well, oh, it's got the instructions. It's going to say it's... Oh, it's got some bags. It's going to say it's missing the tools now. Mmm, that is good. It's not all doom and gloom, folks. This, this particular tool setup that fits on the Ariane also is the same that fits on the Hoover Microspace. Now I've got one of those, I think I've shown it on my channel, but I'd somehow mislaid this part. So if push comes to shove, if worse comes to worse, um, at least I can use that and make my Microspace complete. So I think I will do. So this is basically a two-in-one. Well, it's not a two-in-one, is it? It is two individual nozzles, but they nest into each other. So you've got a very short stubbly crevice tool, the beginning of the short stubby ones, and quite a little, fairly soft, but short and stubbly dusting brush. It's got the hoover. Can we see? I don't know. I can't see from here. Can we pick it up? Can the camera show you? Anyway, it does say hoover embossed on it. Oh, and it does on the, uh, the crevice tool, so we know they are genuine hoover. So they sit on this, and that is designed to go on one of the tubes um, to store them on board, so to speak. And then you've got that bit, which is your parking bracket. Oh, a little bit disappointed about this one. I'm sure it'll work. This will probably, well, I'll be selling a few of the Ariannes. By the time you see this, I might have sold all the surplus ones. I'll just keep one for myself. Out of all of them I'll keep the best example obviously because I paid for them. So they take H30 plus dust bags, non-reusable. Ah, oh, ah, that's a thing isn't it? It's not a lifetime, it doesn't have the lifetime bag. It'd be interesting to see what all the others are like. It does say it's a Hoover lifetime. They did a Hoover lifetime, I think they did it in Telios and Pure Power. I think they were in this colour 
not sure what Hoover call that colour. Sort of like a, a duck egg. Yeah. I've, I've never had, it's illustrating all the models on here, I never had an Ariane with electronic motor speed control. <laughs> Look, there's even, there's even a little guarantee card, obviously. Completely, oh, guaranteed apartment in Bedworth, Warwickshire for some reason. Now it's um, underwritten by Domestic and General. Um, just seeing if there's any sort of date on this. We'll see if we can date it from the uh, doobie. I think it's a 90s model. Oh, actually it says 2000. It's a late 90s, early 2000s, I'd say. I think it is complete. Disappointing, because I was, I was hoping... I'm not going to bother opening those at the moment, because they are sealed. Oh no, one isn't. At least it's got metal tubes. This would have been a fairly budget cleaner. Two friction fit metal tubes. Now this is in pretty poor condition. But it is in fact, it looks like a, it looks like a dog's been at it. I've never seen, I don't know if that would have been, I don't remember seeing that nozzle. I'll look into, um, well if I sell this I'll just sell it as it as is, you know, I'll picture. Um, it's obviously had some use there. But it looks like it's one of those German made ones which I can never pronounce. You can see that little, can you see that little logo? That's the logo for Wieselwerk. Anyway, there it is. The hose, that's the same fitting as they had on the early compacts. That's a, it's a three lug fitting. And you've got this, yeah, it's, it's uh, definitely the most used so far that I've unboxed. Anyway, the car polish, the auto glim that I use, right, well, hmm, it will buff it up and make it shine a bit, but I'm going to need, there's a little bit of paint. So yes, look, this has been used. Yeah. It's had the part of the serial number cut off, which is, I think they do that. I'll zoom in on that because you can't, I can't hold it up still. Um, I think what might, might be the case with these, people bought them with the lifetime cloth bags and the bags would have clogged up obviously and the suction would have reduced. You know, you'd have had to regularly turn the bag inside out, really shake it out or use another vacuum to clean it. So I think people probably thought oh, it's not picking up anymore and, and sent it back or something. Um, it's a uh, nice little compact vacuum. You've got your two switches, cord rewind on off. I think this is, has this will have the flat cable. Yes. Oh, it sounds a bit creaky. Mm. This might be, you know, is if as I say, if it's if it's not worth selling or keeping. I've got some spares from it and I've also of course got that bit which I'm pleased about which does complete my my micro space which is in mint condition. I got that from you. So yeah it's a flat cable. It will eventually. I mean it's been it's been in a warehouse for I don't know how long. It's been in my garage overnight in the cold. It's sluggish so that's not too good is it? No, <laughs> there's a little exhaust filter, tiny, tiny exhaust on these. They're probably overheated, you know. You've got a big, big sponge, sort of diffuser, and then look at small. That is absolutely tiny. It's smaller than a tea bag, nearly. I don't have tea though, so I wouldn't know, but I know a tea bag is some, some, sort of that size. So that's exhaust. Very small. I would say a small small exhaust would restrict the airflow a bit, wouldn't you? I don't know. I'm no scientist. Not that I believe in a lot of what science goes on about. So, oh, it doesn't come off. I thought they did. No, probably thinking of another model. I thought the bag door came right off. Not sure which. Oh, it's probably. I'm probably confusing it with my micro my, micro space. Yeah. So no lifetime bag. I'm sure I can get them, but they're not cheap. Here's your pre. 
I think that's the wrong way actually. I th it was that way in the machine. I think it goes that way in the machine. I don't think it makes any difference, to be honest. It's got a bit of an odour. Ooh. Not, not totally unpleasant odour, but it's certainly not the odour of a, a completely, well, obviously we know it's not completely unused, nor was the red Alpina I unboxed, but that was certainly in a lot better condition. So it'll be interesting to see if all the other Ariannes um, lifetimes have a lifetime bag. You see, this one didn't say lifetime on the box, and it had a bo model number written on the box. All the others, I think, say lifetime on them, so it's possible they will have the lifetime bag. But I think you could use both with them. You could use the lifetime bag or the disposable ones. So that's that. It's got the piston, the piston um, bag check indicator here. Obviously that's the hose connector. So yeah, it is scuffed up a bit with paint. That paint will come off. It will clean up, but yeah, it's, that's my first disappointment. But, you know, as I said, every cloud has a silver lining, and um, I will use the, uh, that little, those two tools for my microspace. Right, let's see if we can date it then from the serial number. There we go, a bit wonky, I think you can read that. So it's a T. T2425 and it's uh, 1200 to 1400 watt type VS made in EC. I think these would have been made in Cambuslang, Scotland. Hoover did have a factory in Lisbon, I think, in Portugal, which I think just made cylinder or canister vacuums, not uprights, um, for Europe. But I have seen in that Back to the Floor documentary, there was a production line. I'm not sure if it was, it might have been actually Ariane or it could have been Telios. But which, if my thinking is, if they manufactured the, Ari the Telios in Scotland, they would have manufactured the Ariane. That's what I'm thinking. I've not really heard from anyone um, who worked in the Hoover factory in Scotland, but I suppose they don't really watch my videos. To most of the people I expect working in that factory, it was just a job for the money. They weren't interested in the vacuums. It might be a dream job for some of us watching to work in a Hoover factory. But um, obviously, I think for the majority of people that worked in them normally, it was just clock in, assemble the cleaners, clock out, go home, not interested. But anyway, I'm going to chart. It should work. But we'll... Uh, just plug it in, see how noisy it is. Certainly noisier, I think, than the Telios. It might sound a bit like the Telios. Right, oh, actually, I was gonna say, look for a socket, but I've got one behind me. I'm in a different room today. In fact, let me just unplug that. It's got a little lamp plugged in. Now, it might actually turn on. Let's get ready to turn it off. Oh, noisy, noisy. Yes, I'm actually, um, Filming in a room I've never filmed in before. <gasps> Exclusive for you, I'm in the study, which in a normal person's house would be the uh, spare bedroom. But we've got it set up as a study with a desk in, but it's not my room really. But I come in here occasionally. I don't know if it's showing up. There might be a little, it's, you know, it's just drying. I've duo peed bits of this and I, I, I went rather I put rather a lot on and it's left left a sort of a yellowy stain. That'll come off when it dries completely. This clean looking rug that I put down is the same rug I used on that Vax Spin Scrub demo. And no, it didn't come clean with that. I used my Bissell Premier upright washer for that. Anyway, yeah, so it is what it is. It's a nice looking cleaner, but I've got at least four more, I think. At least, I think three or four, maybe even five more of these, whether or not they're all the same number in the box. Because this says, it says T2425 on the box. Yeah, it does say that on the cleaner, so anyway.
quite quite noisy, very noisy. I don't remember the one I had. I certainly had a red one because I found a picture of it, a photograph of it. I think I might have had a yellow one. I know there was a yellow one. There was a nice lime green one. I think I've, sh I've shown them. One of my brochure videos I did when I did my advent series. At least one of those videos, uh, one of the brochures featured the Ariannes. But, um, you see, I don't know if that's very sluggish. I think this could be sold as spares or repairs or I'll, I'll give it away very cheaply for somebody who wants it. Let's say I'm, I, I want to keep some of the bits from it. Well, not, not the main unit, but that little nozzle. Right then, that's it for today, or for this one. So that's a little bit two disappointments really. The condition and the fact that it doesn't have the lifetime bag. Well, no, two, yes, three, no, three, isn't it? Three disappointments. The condition, the fact it doesn't have the lifetime bag, um, the fact that it was a lifetime model and not a different model because it's in a normal Ariane box and not a lifetime. I was hoping to have um, a normal Ariane, you know, possibly a red or a yellow or a lime green one. But it's probably in a better condition than it would be if I bought a, a very used one off eBay. But there you go, it's fine. Can you, see, can you still see it? That's where, you see that bit? It goes in at a funny angle, so that's where that would um, fit. You can just about see it, just at the top of the screen there. Okay, well I'll get on because I've got a lot more to unbox from my haul. You'll be seeing that over the next weeks and months, plus of course all the other vacuums. Not just unboxings, there'll be demos mixed in and probably more leaflets and all sorts of bits. Toy vacuums, got toy washer to show you, all sorts of things. Ah yes, that's the nozzle. That's the nozzle I remember. Uh, would have come with the Ariane. I might still be able to get one of those, can you see? In fact it's the same shape nozzle as SIBO used on their earlier K series, which I do have some of the SIBO ones but of course they won't have hoof written on them and they'll have a different fitting. But anyway, there we go, Hoover Lifetime. Please thumb up this video, please subscribe if you don't do so already. If you do, or if you don't, when you do subscribe, please click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button <clears throat> and you'll be updated immediately via an email when I upload a new video. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.